Well, of course, the unofficial start to summer is just right around the corner. And there's a lot of talk about summer travel in the headlines so far. People are saying we're going to see a lot of it. But to break down those travel trends even more and maybe even give us some tips for some stress free planning for that summer vacation, let's go ahead and bring into the show Senior Communications Lead for North America at Airbnb, the lovely Liz DeBold Fusco is with us. Liz, it is good to see you. Thanks so much for having me. Great to be here. Well, I love talking summer travel. I'm excited to get back traveling with my family. And uh, from the sounds of it, I am not alone in that, right? Uh, you are very right. We cannot wait to travel again this summer. Actually, according to an Airbnb survey, more than nine in 10 guests are considering hitting the road in the next few months. And actually, like you, many of us expect to travel with family this summer. Family travel is at an all time high. Um, and also, it's really something that everybody and anybody is going to be doing. In fact, seniors over the age of 60 are the fastest growing age group for nights booked this summer compared to 2019. Um, as far as trends, we're seeing that many of us are traveling pretty close to home still. More than half of nights booked in the first few months of 2022 for this summer are domestic trips, but international travel has actually recovered to pre-pandemic levels and it continues to grow. And then finally, many of us are heading to the beach, actually. That's not really a surprise. Uh, half of nights booked on Airbnb are at listings just three miles from the coast. In fact, six cities across Florida are among the top trending summer des domestic destinations for U.S. guests this summer. Oh, really? Just out of curiosity, any of those spots in Tampa Bay? Not Tampa Bay, but uh, Cape Town Blast is another good one, uh, Miramar Beach, um, and then outside of Florida, looking at Forks, Washington, Stonington, Connecticut, and Hampton Bay, New York, although I have no doubt many people will be heading to Tampa Bay. I'm going to be one of those families. I'm just putting that out there now. <laughs> you know what? I'm curious. You brought up the pandemic, and I know I was working from home for a large portion of the pandemic, and I am not alone. Are you seeing that working from home kind of impacting what people are wanting to do when it comes to travel? Absolutely. The world has really changed. And in 2022, people are traveling differently than they ever have before. Because of remote work, we're really seeing that people are going everywhere. Um, people are spreading out to thousands of towns and cities. Actually, this summer, I guess are going to go to 72,000 places already. Um, and we're also seeing that people are really taking advantage of remote work to combine the idea of living and traveling and working all from Airbnbs all around the world. Long-term stays are at an all-time high. They represent now one in every five nights booked on Airbnb. In addition, nearly half of nights booked on Airbnb for the first few months of 2022 were for one week or more. The other thing we're seeing is that people are really demonstrating increased flexibility about where and when they can travel. And they're, they're thinking about the stay as part of the destination. Unique listings gained in popularity during the pandemic. Actually, more than unique listings have now been added to 20 million wish lists on Airbnb, as well as listings with iconic architecture and interior. Um, we saw that wish list containing design in their title have grown 175%. I'm curious, you know, of course, it's interesting to hear what people are wanting to do. But as I was talking, you know, it tends to be a little stressful, especially if you're hearing the numbers of people wanting to travel. How's Airbnb making it easier for us to travel and maybe taking some of that stress out of it? Yeah, absolutely. We have actually launched this week the biggest change to Airbnb in a decade. And this includes three big updates to do exactly that, make it even easier for you to travel. The first is Airbnb categories. So I mentioned that millions of people are now more flexible about where they live and work. We created a new way to search designed around Airbnb categories so that you can actually discover millions of unique homes that you maybe never would have known existed and have even more options for your trips. When you open Airbnb right now, you're going to be presented with 56 categories categories that organizes homes for you based on their style, their location, or their proximity to a travel activity. So think of something like amazing pools. Is that the category it has all of the listings that you could ever imagine with all of the amazing pools on our platform? Uh, another I say, right? Like who does not want to just even just scroll through a bunch of amazing pool photos? It's so cool. Um, the other uh, update I want to talk about is split stays. Um, so more guests are now staying for longer. We want to make it easier for you to do that as well. So we've introduced this innovative new uh, feature. It actually provides more options for longer stays by splitting your trip between two homes. And then I think the last update that actually makes it especially easy to travel at Airbnb is air cover for guests. This 
this is the most comprehensive protection in travel, free to all guests on Airbnb for every trip. It protects you if, say, your host needs to cancel your booking last minute, or maybe you find your listing isn't as advertised. In all of those cases, we will find you a similar or better home, or we will find you. That's our guarantee. Okay, that is so impressive. And by the way, I loved looking at those pictures we were just showing, too. I was, like, literally in awe of so many of them. And as always, <laughs> we're sharing to the website. Airbnb.com is where you can go for more information. Liz, thank you for your time today. Thank you.